Can you tell us how you came to learn that you were being nominated as Bishop of the Diocese of Mansa? Yeah, it all came in a very unexpected way. I was uh, just marking the exam papers after giving exam to the <laughs> students. Uh, around 11, my phone rings. And incidentally, my elder sister, a religious Franciscan nun, works at the Nunse Church as one of the secretaries. Oh. So she called, I recognized her voice, but she said, Patrick, this is not from me. This is from my boss. Uh -huh. So immediately I'm transferring the line. Uh -huh. And so the nuncio was there and uh, spoke to me, greeted, said, uh, Patrick, how are you? Fine. How is the college? How are you doing? Can you come over for lunch? Me? For lunch? Yes. Can you come at 13 hours? I said, well, okay. <laughs> so that's all. And I, I remain there wondering, the nuncio inviting me for lunch at the nuncio. Well, I couldn't continue what I was doing. I was wondering, okay, how do I go? What do I take? How do I present myself? Anyway, eventually I drove there wondering what it could be. When I uh, rang the bell, it was him who answered the bell and very, welcome, and very, very open, very generous and introduced me to the new secretary, Don Marco from Italy and we sat, he said, let's have some aperitivo, <laughs> you want some uh, Campari, some beer, I said, please, some water. No, don't be too Franciscan. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we had some aperitivo and we had lunch. I was very anxious because I was waiting why had he invited me and uh, so I just talk, started talking about uh, his um, meeting with the superiors and was saying, oh, I was wondering maybe you could help me with some points because I really don't know what to share with them. You have been superior before. so And I started talking and it helped me really to relax because I started thinking maybe this is why he called me. Then later on, he spoke about uh, helping him find uh, somebody to teach him English. <laughs> so, okay, through the meal, I realized that it was just a very a courteous invitation to share some things and to ideas. He said you could write. He told me I could write and send the points much later. As we were towards the end of the meal, he was talking about his chapel. He said, I have a chapel. It had so many paintings when I came, so I removed some of them because it was like a catechism class. So he didn't like it. Uh, Can I show you? Would you like to see my chapel? He said, no problem. Your excellence. <laughs> <laughs> so we went. I thought he was taking me outside. Instead, he was going upstairs. I waited a bit. He said, please come over. And I, as I followed him, I found myself in a big office. It was the first time I entered his office, and he invited me to sit. So I sat down. He took from the folder a letter and just passed it on to me. Read that. That's for you. And of course, it was addressed to me. And I, I read, as I was reading, so it was addressed to me, and say, the Holy Father has appointed you Bishop of Mansa. I looked at that, I put down the letter, I looked at him, there must be a mistake somewhere. It was my name written, and they said, no, go on. So I read everything, it's an expression of trust from the part of the Holy Father and the Church and uh, that kind of thing. So I just kept quiet, really. I was a bit sweating. <laughs> I said, you don't have to say anything. Come now, I'll show you the chapel. <laughs> <laughs> they said you could bring your letter. So then I went to the chapel which was just next door and he left me there. I said you can stay there as long as you want. I'll wait for you. <laughs> so I, I got to the kneeler. I didn't know what to say, what to pray for. My hands were awake. And, uh, so. But one thing I do remember probably spent 25 minutes or 30 minutes in the chapel. But what I consciously recall was saying the words, how can this be? I, you know, we are, the friars are not present in this diocese, so I've not been there. And I know maybe two or three priests from that area. So it kept coming, Mansa, 
how are we going to know about that? So it was a pontifical secret. So it was very hard for me in those days to how to behave, how to carry myself, uh, and so forth. So until it was announced, I never shared with anyone. Oh, really? So can you share with us how your family reacted? Uh, are your parents? My mom is still alive. My dad has passed on uh, mm -hmm. 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, immediately, in fact, the nuncio came to make the announcement at our college, at St. Bonaventure College. Mm -hmm. He had indicated that he was going to visit, make a visit to the students and the lecturers, and he didn't specify why. So the announcement was made that morning that we all had to stay around mm -hmm. because we were receiving the nuncio. <laughs> so at the right time, we prepared ourselves, put on our habits, and we sat in the, in the hall. And uh, 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 Nunsi just went, we said the Angelus, and he said, well, I'm anticipating 10 minutes. By noon, the Holy Father is going to make the announcement that mm -hmm. one of you, a lecturer, a conventional friar, <laughs> has been appointed. And so, and then of course, there was a huge uproar from the students, and mm -hmm. they poured water all over me. And <laughs> oh, is, is that a typical expression typical, of congratulations? It, it came really so spontaneously. Because I, they the poured water? Water. There were all uh, cases of water. It was very hot oh. that day, so they oh. prepared water for everybody to have a drink. And just spontaneously, when the announcement was made, the students just came all over me, <laughs> lifting me and pouring water all over me. I don't know whether it is typical way of celebrating. Or oh, I, I've seen it in our formation house when one is celebrating birthday, some of them oh, go and oh, pour oh. water. But how they just dared to do that and so spontaneously. Anyway, it was lovely. Thereafter, we had lunch with the news, and he said, Have you called your mom? Have you called your mom? So I immediately went to call my mom, and uh, my younger brothers were there, and I was fearing for her high blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but she received it well, oh, she was oh, singing, oh, and uh, oh, I could hear in the background with my young brothers. And, uh, oh, most so, of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. My sister didn't know she was there with the nuncio, but, but I don't know if she was suspecting something was going to happen, but she was not told really. And I saw her shedding tears when <laughs> it was announced. It was exciting. That's really. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us yeah. the beautiful story.